Welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. Today's a new day, and we're going to do a new review. Okay, so this is actually the second time that we have shot this, because the first time we shot it, we put the SD card on the table here on the desk, and we had a dog eat it. So this is literally the second time we're filming this review. So anyways, what we're reviewing is this. This is the Universal Audio Volt uh, 476. 476. Uh, it's a great little unit. It's lightweight, really built sturdy. It's got some wooden sides on it, as you can see. Like there's wood there and there. Um, but first, I'm gonna tell you the reason why we got this. Uh, we got this unit because it's gonna be in our B room. Also, it's gonna be a travel interface like when I go and do location recordings and I only need like a few inputs. Uh, or I'm on vacation and I wanna do some mixes and I don't wanna use the outputs of my headphones on my laptop. Um, I want something that sounds a little bit better. Or I just, you know, like I said, B room that we're gonna do. We'll have a little like mixing slash recording area off that way. Anyways, like I said, UA476, uh, it's built just with the quality of everything else that they build. There's nothing that I can say bad about this unit when it comes to build quality. The knobs feel great, um, all the input buttons, they all work really well. Um, but for, so, that's what I said. So first I'm gonna kinda show you the front panel here, and I call this the front panel because it's kinda, there's a front, a top, and a back, and then a bottom's got the rubber feet but anyways so the front panel is very self-explanatory you got your headphone here with your volume for headphones your two combo jacks which your mic pre's it only had this this version only has two mic pre's uh, you can get I think it's the 476 P which has four mic pre's across the front but this has two with their volume actually their volume knobs are on top uh, but you have this you have a 48 volt instrument so 48 volt goes across both of them, and then instrument line is for each of them. Uh, so as you got the two instrument lines here, you just hit the button and away you go. And then at the top here, you've got uh, a row of buttons here, and then your controls over here for your mic pre's. So you've got a volume for each of them, and then you've got the compressor, which is really handy, which is why, the reason, other reason why I got this is because it gives me uh, kind of the analog compression that I want when I'm doing certain things um, Then you can choose vocal guitar a fast setting and then off So and then there's also a vintage button which kind of gives you more of a vintage style pre which is great um, You kind of pair those two together and it does it sounds very analogish um, Not super analogish, but pretty analog -ish. and then you get this button down here That is your mono for when you're monitoring along with your big volume knob here, just like the other guys have. Um, it's not quite the same knob because it's not detented, but, and it's not, obviously you can't also control it via software, it's just an analog knob. Um, and then across here you have sources, so you can do your inputs one and, or three and four, one and two, outputs one and two, three and four. So that's kind of this top unit, or top part of the unit, and then it's got this awesome meter bridge here which honestly is kind of hard to see but honestly I'm not really even paying attention to meters because I'm looking at logic back here or whatever DAW I'm using this with um, and doing it that way also it's got inputs on the back so you've got three and four here as quarter inch and that's fine really you can plug whatever you want a stereo keyboard another mic pre that's got a a line output on it you know just kind of whatever you want uh, and then you have your monitor going this way so these this little line here this is your inputs and then these six here are your outputs so you've got monitor one and two and then line one two three four so basically you have six outputs um, and then you have basically your MIDI in and out here um, that's really all that's really for I haven't really used the MIDI on this yet but it's handy to have the big interfaces don't even have this so anyways and then you have your power on and off which is cool uh, it does come with a power brick so you can plug in power here or it's bus powered via USB-C 
which you can use all sorts of things. The great thing about this device is you can use it with your iPhone. Uh, I think you can even use it with your Android. I'm not sure about the Android, but I know you can use it with iPhone and you can use it with your Mac laptop or desktop, whatever it has USB-C. So, which is great because you can pretty much use it with any device and have mic pre's. Um, I actually want to do a review where we take the mobile version of Logic and this guy like, and see what we can do. I'm not sure yet. But that's kind of this in a nutshell. Uh, if you've liked this review on this, uh, we'll eventually do a review on how it's worked for us like over a period of time. But so far it's been great. If you liked it, go find you one like Guitar Center. I picked this guy up for like 300 and some odd dollars. I can't remember the exact price. It was like 360 maybe. Just shy of $400 and you get a great interface that's built really well. Um, I think if you go to the 4 channel, the one that has 4 mic pre's, it goes up another 50 bucks or something like that. It's like 450 I think. Anyways, even like three to $400 for an interface like this is great. Um, it comes with uh, the UA software. Um, not the one that does the console, but UA's, uh, uh, what do they call it? Connect, UA Connect which gives you a slew of software that comes with this. I can, I think Melodyne comes with it. Um, you get some of the UA, like uh, Spark stuff for free. Uh, you get Luna, if you're into Luna. Uh, we kind of dabble with Luna. We've been having some issues with that. Um, it comes with a whole bunch of like drum software and stuff. It comes with a, like a slew of software, which is great. So if you're starting out and you want a great interface, I would start with this. You can't expand it, but you can do most things with four mic pre's. You could do a drum kit with four mic pre's. Heck, you can do a drum kit with two mic pre's, and we might do a video on that with this. Um, but like I said, if you like the video, go find you one. If you liked it, hit the like and subscribe down below. Uh, we're gonna go make some music, so we'll see you next time.